Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to one of my Pandora videos. So new setup, I wanna try to get better at filming and cause sometimes I feel like there's not as much action going on on the screen, it was just me talking. So here I can show you, it's a slightly different setup. So hopefully you like it, let me know what you think. So this video um, was one of the requested ones I had about how I designed my bracelets. I'm really excited to share this, but please, please disclaimer. There's no proper correct way to design your Pandora bracelet. It's it's really about a unique story to you. That's the whole concept of Pandora. It's, it's personalized to you. So everything from the initial design of, of a bracelet, um, from there, it's all about you. So please take some advice from me maybe and get some ideas, but don't limit yourself. Get creative, it's, it's all part of the fun with Pandora. So um, cheers, they're gonna be drinking tea during this video. We're gonna have a sip right now. Uh, Cause I love tea, if you did not know. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get started. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about balance, symmetry, color story, theme. And I'm also gonna share in just a little bit of wisdom when we first got started. So I have a newly purchased bracelet, which is very stiff. Um, this one's new too, but it's pretty loose now. But this one I can show you, to see how it's very, very loose. So this is for an, your first Pandora bracelet you ever get. This is a huge tip that I have for you guys who have a new bracelet that's a little bit stiff. Um, it's something that I didn't learn. And what I'm gonna be showing you is it's very embarrassing. And I, seven, eight years ago when I got my first bracelet, but the store I bought it from didn't give me good advice. And they didn't really tell me the importance of clips. And clips are those things that you put on the edges here that go on, go on to those little um, grooves. I'm not sure what exactly what you call those. They go on there. The whole purpose of those are to balance and equal evenly distribute weight on your bracelet. So if you don't do that, this is my first ever friend or bracelet. I don't wear it anymore, but do you see that like how it's bent there? It could easily break at any moment. And in fact, that little groove thing came off on this bracelet because of all the weight I had going to one side. So basically all the charms are here and they're all pushed to the one side. So you can see how bent. You don't want this to happen to your beautiful Pandora bracelet. It is so heartbreaking. I'm embarrassed to show this, but I'm showing it because I see even some of my friends, they make this mistake where they don't invest in the clips. And I'm telling you, I know they're a little bit more bang for, you know, they feel more expensive and you don't really love them, but trust me, they're, they're, they serve a purpose and they're functional and they can also make your bracelet look beautiful. So as you can see here, for symmetry, the clips just add that instant symmetry. Now these are two different ones. So you have um, the Da Vinci one, or sorry, this is the Da Vinci, this is the glow, but they're the exact same shape and detail. So they're similar. And then over here I have two Muranos again for symmetry, the same, and then over here, to the same again, and then I have my statement piece in the middle, which I'll try to zoom in with the layer, and you can see I have a pen mark on me. It's not really zooming too well there for you guys to see, but that's it. So that's um that would be like a, a starting of a Pandora bracelet. And what's nice, the clips, they keep all your charms in the center here, and then as you start to add charms, you might put one here and one here, one here, one here. You want to keep it even because then the weight's all going to distribute balance weight. <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> so for this one, this is an early beginning. I have two charms on here right now and that's fine. I'm, I am, my next step is to invest in two clips for you, this bracelet before I add more charms on it because again, you want to make sure it's even. I mean, I also can take from my other clips and put them on here and take them off the other one. I'm not wearing it. You're welcome to do that too, so that way you're not, you know, spending so much just on clips. Pandora does amazing clips now too. Sorry to be so blah, blah, blah about clips, <laughs> but trust me, it's worth the investment in the clips. So to move along, I'll next talk about uh, like a color, a color story. 
Um, your bracelet can have a, a bunch of different themes and color definitely is one of them. All my bracelets have like a, a special theme and then they have a color story. So for this one, as you can see, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. Hello there. How's that? Helpful? <laughs> I mix um, the pinks and greens together. So we have a blush pink here. We have a pink on the opal lights there and on the Muranos. And then it's mostly primarily silver with an odd touch of gold. So that's kind of the color scheme here. Now, the theme of this bracelet is a fairy garden. And if you watched, you know, my first video a while ago, <laughs> you'll, you'll, well, actually second video, you'll, you'll know what the meaning of that fairy garden is to me and it's about my sister. So you can watch that video if you want to hear more about it. And now you're going to see how I like to repeat charms. And the reason why I like to do that is number one, you know the balance for weight, it's gonna be the same, but also it creates a completion. There's this whole point of view and this lovely look and aesthetic that's so beautiful. So I like investing in, in duplicates of charms. I know some people they want good real estate on their bracelet, they want everything to be different, but for me, if there's a charm I love, I love to repeat it. I usually only repeat it twice and um, I, ha I don't own three charms. I've been tempted, but I haven't done that yet. So for here, I have two rose leaves, which you'll hear, see here, two Muranos, two cliffs that are the same. You'll always tend to see this, except for um, the globe and the Da Vinci ones. That, those are my husband's, by the way. He's letting me borrow them on this one. <laughs> but um, for the most part, you'll see the same cliffs. I do sometimes like to change up the Muranos. So you'll see this one, it's more of a pink with just the flowers just around and this one's more field of daisies with a lot more but similar enough that they go well together you know what I mean um, then I go into this one has the pink cubic zirconia in the middle which you can kind of see there and then the opal lights to match two spacers two dangles I have a treasure chest and this hedgehog so again similar shapes and details but again you can see each one and appreciate each one individually. So that's kind of the color scheme. We have the theme, we have your, the balance of the clips, similar shapes, that's kind of what I go for. And I love, love symmetry. So that's that one, you know, let me just move it over here. This one is my something blue bracelet, which you've probably heard about in the other videos. It's one my husband, um, designed for me. I've changed it up a little bit since um, that last video, but you can kind of see. So again, I have two tendril clips with the blue in there. You guys can see that. I'm just gonna have a sip of tea. One second. Cheers. <laughs> so the two tendril clips, two blue, this, this is the Cerenza. <laughs> see, I needed that tea. Cinderella Moranos two dangles, and then I have the two hearts, um, but they're different. So this one and this one, they both are, have gold in the center, but they're different. So it gives, it gives a, something similar, but still something unique. Then I have the cross, which is there, and I have the two embraced swans there, which are similar. They both have some gold in them. The teapot at the end right here, he's about to fall off. <laughs> And then I have the two rings, which are down below here. And of course your safety chain. Um, I'll talk about that later too, because that's important to get for your bracelet as well. Though I don't think you need it right away. Yeah, so again, so overall theme, it's the a wedding theme. <laughs> and the something blue. So you have that, but it's also two tone. So you have the gold, the silver, and the blue to add a nice color story to that. So that's that one for you guys. This one I really like and I'm excited to show you. I'm not gonna show you all my bracelets. I'm not gonna show bangles or leather bracelets, um, but I'm just gonna show you the, my main moments collection. Oops, wrong way, there we go. So this one I have a little bit more fun with because I'm not always playing with similar shapes um, and same Muranos, because a lot of times you'll see that I use the same Muranos, but on this one, like the Fairy Garden, I mix it up a little bit. So I always do a very nice symmetry right in the middle. 
That's how I connect it with that statement charm. And that statement charm is, is always what's in the middle. So you want something that's, that kind of brings the whole bracelet together, that whole theme together. So for me, I have this heart because I, I love fairy tales. Um, I love forests and enchanted forest bracelet. Perfect theme for this bracelet. The color story is obviously the Pandora Rose. It's kind of browns, greens, which you can see a little here. And I mean, there's room to add more color to this. I want to add a little more green, I think, or even see how it has some brown, maybe some browns in there. This could be a great fall bracelet, but I, I can wear it all the time around. <laughs> so again, I have two of the same clips, two of the leaf charms here to open Pandora Rose Hearts, the Frog Prince and the Hedgehog, which they're both sitting, so they kind of match together. The two Miranos, they're different, but same weights, so they go very nicely together. And then I have the bunny in the fairy tale book and a dangle, and no dangle on this side, because there's always room to add, right? <laughs> so there's that one. Hey guys, sorry, my camera died there, so <laughs> I'll try to remember what I was talking about. Hopefully the lighting's similar. Most tea has been <laughs> drunk now. Um, I think I was just finishing up with this one. And then this is another one I can show you. It's on my wrist, but yeah, you know what? Let's just take it off and show you. Everyone probably knows this bracelet from my other videos. Um, I've changed it up a little bit, which you would have seen in the video I recently posted. But I repeat the patterns up until the light is the feather. So it's the same charms repeated which I think creates a really nice statement. It's something a little bit different, which I really like. Um, and then I have the forget-me-not, and to match, I have that moonstone ring. I have the Bible and the piano. Um, probably unwind this so you can see it. So piano, man, you know what? Let's just zoom you in here. I find that's probably an easier way to really see it. There we go. And then I have a heart and then the ocean wave. So again, these ones are slightly different, but again, you can kind of see how they're about the same weights and they're balanced and similar colors. Right now, originally this was my all silver bracelet, but and I just had these ones, but I added more of the opalescence just to create a really nice statement. And at some point I might decide, you know, I want to spread these colors out. So, you know, they're, they're more echoed all the way around, but for now I really like them in the center. I can for sure tell you I'll probably move them around though. <laughs> so that's about it for the bracelets I was showing you um, in terms of like, you know, the details, the symmetry, the things that I like to do, the statement pieces in the center, how to balance them, things like that. Um, I'll probably show you my bangles and the leather bracelets and things later. Just put that one over there for now. Um, another thing I'd love to talk about though too is to kind of, you can also base the colors. You could just change the colors of these bracelets too to go with the seasons. Um, I kind of mentioned that earlier because I know a couple of my friends do that and I mean it's a great way, especially if you don't want us wearing Pandora bracelets as I do. You can just change the colors and you have something that works for the fall, the winter, the spring, things like that which I think is, is really cool and something nice to add. Um, Another thing I want to talk about is people are kind of like safety chain. Do I need it? Yes or no? I probably have talked about this in another video, but I like the safety chain. I'm going to zoom out. Oops, zoom it in. Zoom it out. Um, because I find that it makes it easier to put the bracelet on when you take it off. It just doesn't just fall to the table. And I, you know what? I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is how I put on my, pan, my Pandora bracelet. So, whoops, first of all, you want to put the safety chain around, da -da 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 -da, like that. You put it on your wrist. And see how the safety chain holds it there for you? It's, it's amazing. It's awesome. Then I put the clasp over in the inner part. And this is where I don't know, maybe you guys can see if I bring that up slightly. I'm gonna go closer. So I hold that there. That's my computer going. And then I just pop it in. Oops. You know, it's because I'm looking in the viewfinder. I'm just gonna do it without looking in the viewfinder and hopefully you see it. Like that. 
So it's super easy to put your bracelet back on. Did you see that? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so yeah, I think the safety chain's awesome just for the, the sole purpose of wearability because <laughs> it makes it so much easier. And then when you take it, whoops, sorry guys, sorry bracelet. When you take it off, it catches it so it doesn't bang on the table like this bracelet just did. <laughs> anyway, ooh, as I take this off, <laughs> Thank you so much for, for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions about, um, you know, the design. Maybe you'd love to see, you know, me starting out with just a plain bracelet and, and you know, kind of creating from there. Let me know. That definitely would be something fun to do with you guys too. So, so let me know. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye, you guys.